गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट द क्रेडिट मूवमेंट इन दिस कंट्री स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटीन जीरो फोर एंड इट हैड इट्स ओन डिफिकल्टीज सिंस द लास्ट सेवरल डिकेट्स द मेन प्रॉब्लम रिगार्डिंग कोऑपरेटिव क्रेडिट हैज बीन दैट इट हैज बीन अनटाइमली एंड इन एडिकुएट इन नाइनटीन जीरो फोर द कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज एक्ट वॉज पास्ड विच वॉज लेटर अमेंडेड इन नाइनटीन फोर्टीन देन देर वर appointed and they reported about the weaknesses of the credit movement in the country in 1919 this subject of cooperation was transferred to the states after which several states passed cooperative acts of their own thereafter in 1929 the royal commission made certain inquiries about cooperation and the credit movement and made certain recommendations and till 1950 or 1951 there was very little improvement in the field of cooperation in 1951 the reserve bank of india appointed the rural credit survey committee which brought out its report in 1954 that committee came to the conclusion that only 3% of the credit required by the agriculturists in the country was being met by the cooperatives and it made certain suggestions it suggested that there should be an integrated credit structure in the country and said that there should be share participation by the government in the cooperative societies it suggested that the government should take shares in the cooperative societies so that the cooperative movement can get strength through government participation the second recommendation made by the rural credit survey committee was that there should be linking of credit with marketing processing consumers storage and all other fields of activity so that credit will develop marketing consumption processing etc yet another recommendation was that there should be a training program for the non officials the fourth recommendation and the most salient one was that there should be a three tier structure of credit there should be cooperative societies at the lower level then there should be district banks and then the apex banks and that all the three should be interlinked these recommendations were accepted by the government of india this report also recommended that in order to implement these suggestions there should be a national cooperative development and warehousing board the government of india have accepted these suggestions in 1956 according to that act there came into being a warehousing board which took care of the warehouses in the country and also the national development board which took care of the development of the cooperatives it was first though that the two boards 
should be worked out under two different acts but as both the subjects were administratively under one ministry at that time namely the ministry of food and agriculture it was thought proper at the stage that the same act should be administer the national development board and the warehousing corporation thereafter a separate department of corporation was created and attached to the ministry of community development now called the ministry of community development panchayati raj and cooperation and it was decided by the government in 1960 that there should be two separate acts one for cooperative development board and the other for warehousing in one of the papers submitted by the ministry of food and agriculture on the basis of which the presidential order to create the department of cooperation was passed it was suggested that these two bodies should be administered separately and that is why we have now come before parliament with this national cooperative development corporation bill the other bill relating to the warehousing corporation will come up through the ministry of food and agriculture after the bill is passed therefore sir the present bill is only an amending bill and opportunity has been taken to have some minor amendments made in the bill firstly the original act covered only agricultural produce and agricultural produce had been defined in that act and now besides agricultural produce any notified commodity is also being included if government wants to include any commodity for which parliament is competent to legislate it can notify that commodity and apply the provisions of this measure to that commodity in that case we will not have to come to parliament again and again any commodity which is in the concurrent list and for which parliament can legislate can be notified by government for the application of these provisions the second amendment is about the functional committees in the present act there is no provision for functional committees now this corporation has to deal with credit processing marketing consumers and all these types of items in order to boost up the cooperative movement we found that there was a lacuna and therefore we have suggested a provision to have functional committees it is only an enabling provision and after this bill becomes act we will have functional committees regarding credit processing consumers etc then there was no power of delegation